Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Mall Loyalist Mandalorians. Try saying that ten times fast. So like I said, today we're going to be painting the Mall Loyalist Mandalorians from Atomic Mass Games Star Wars Legion. One of my favorite things about these guys is that they really only exist in the Clone Wars. So if you have like a Star Wars fan that really only watches the movies and like the live action stuff, they have no idea that Darth Maul not only survived but like ruled the underworld with an iron fist or and a metal leg because if you don't know he's got metal legs because when obi-wan cut him in half his legs are they're metal now anyway so first thing i did was spray these guys black and then i gave him a zenithal highlight with just some white ink. just a reminder that if you are using white ink to spray a matte sealer in between uh the speed paints and the contrast paints will run the ink off even after it's been drying for days i don't know it's just a chemical reaction science so first thing we're doing is we're taking grave lord gray and this is going over the entire miniature this is basically going to be our base color for everything but the armor but we can go right over it just to speed things up so we want to put this over the entire miniature. Make sure that uh, you don't let it pool too much or too heavily, so just wick some off with a brush, but do make sure you get it everywhere because any part where you don't is going to be glaringly uh, white. It will stand out like a sore thumb, which is a weird expression because I've never been walking down the street and been like, oh my God, that guy's thumb must be sore. It's really standing out. It's just an observation. Once that is all dried, we're going to take a bright silver. You can use any bright silver. I'm just using silver from Vallejo, and this is going into his visor. Once that silver is dry, we're going to take some Imperial Fist Contrast, and that is going to go over the silver into their visors. Now, if you've spilled over like I did here with that silver or with the Imperial Fist, it doesn't matter because we're going to be covering those parts up. Next, we're taking some bloody red, and you could really use any red. This is just the one I chose because it's a little bit... Uh, It'll dry quite a bit darker, and this is going to go on all the armor plates. So I just thin it down with some water and just slowly take my time and go over. You want to try to avoid getting this on any of the other parts because basically the bodysuit is done. Uh, most of the uh, rest of the armor is done at this point. We just want to go in and highlight up with this red. Don't forget his crotch piece. That's gotta be red too. <laughs> and we're doing the same on any of the female characters, just going in and layering up that armor with the red. Some of them have a little skirt, but as we call it on the channel, a bum dress, uh, we're going to do the trim around there as well. Next, we're going to switch to leather brown, and this is going to go on some of these straps holding on their armor, just to basically break up that gray a little bit. Then we're going to take some Black Templar contrast paint and this is going to go on the weapons. Then 
And we're going to take some sun yellow. Uh, this is one of my favorite yellow colors. And we're just going to dot in a couple of these areas. Uh, just for a little tiny uh, embellishments. And we're going to take some Tener yellow, and this is going on to their horns. And we're going to take some Earth Texture Desert Sand from Vallejo. This is going to go over the entire base. And we're going to take some rocks from the beach here, and uh, we're just going to sprinkle those on. At this point, you're going to remember that you didn't put uh, any color on those little spikes on his shoulder. So you're going to go back to that Tener yellow, and you're going to finish that. We're going to take some zealot yellow once all that basing paste is dry and we're just going to slather that onto the base. We will put a black rim around it and these guys are done. And with that these guys are done. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, that Gravelord Grey is really one of the better colors uh, from the speed paint line. Um, you could go with a brighter red if you wanted to, but I really wanted these to be very much of a, of a dark, uh, grungier sort of red. So hopefully this video gives you a good idea of how to paint your own. These guys uh, don't have to be super difficult. I mean. They really, even in the uh, cartoon, are only like two or three colors. By using the Gravelord Grey and the red and a little bit of brown to break that up a little bit and the yellow visor, we get a pretty good looking miniature. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Super Commando Mandalorian... <sighs> Mall loyalist Mandalorians, mall loyalist Mandalorians, mall loyalist Mandalorians, mall loyalist Mandalorians, mall loyalist. I don't think you can.